U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will head to Beijing this week with a warning for China to curb its technical support for Russia's military, or else. Blinken's three-day trip starting Wednesday comes after the approval of a $61 billion aid package for Ukraine by the U.S. House and in the midst of fears in Western capitals that Chinese aid to Moscow for manufacturing of military hardware is ramping up. We are prepared to take steps when we believe necessary against firms that severely undermine security in both Ukraine and Europe, a State Department official told reporters ahead of Blinken's trip. We've demonstrated our willingness to do so regarding firms from a number of countries. Not just China. Reports have long circulated that China has been sending everything from vehicles to bulletproof vests to Russia for use in its war against Ukraine, with the dual-use technology having both civilian and military applications. The official said that China's support means that Moscow has largely reconstituted its defense industrial base, which has an impact not just on the battlefield in Ukraine, but poses a larger threat. We believe to broader European security. Officials in the US have this month briefed that China is also shipping parts and microchips used for the production of drones, cruise missiles and armored vehicles. Blinken's trip runs to Friday, according to the State Department, and is set to include both Shanghai and Beijing. At a meeting of G7 foreign ministers in Capri, Italy, late last week, the West's top diplomats issued a joint warning to Iran that if it is found to be sending ballistic missiles and related military technology to Russia, then it would face further sanctions. Speaking following the G7 meeting, Blinken said that China is Russia's primary contributor when it comes to industrial support for arms. We see China sharing machine tools, semiconductors, other dual-use items that have helped Russia rebuild the defense industrial base, Blinken said.